Hello and welcome to another tutorial here. Today it is uh, TJ again, and today I will be covering how to set up MC My Admin on a uh, droplet. Now, MC My Admin is a very nice control panel for uh, Ubuntu for Minecraft. It's actually used for Windows 2. Um, that can you can install them basically cross platform. Okay, so we're gonna get started by creating a droplet. Now it's probably recommended if you use something bigger than 512 megabytes, especially if you're going to be hosting a Minecraft server. So I suggest a 1 gig or a 2 gig plan, and I'm going to select New York 2. I'm going to select the latest Ubuntu, and I'm going to use my SSH key. I'm going to go ahead and create this droplet. And I'm going to load this in here. And I'm just going to rename this. It's just so I can use my SSH key. Alright, so we're going to have to wait a couple seconds here. I'm going to go ahead and pause this for a second. Alright, I'm back here, so I'm going to make sure that's saved. I'm going to open that. Oh wait, we got an issue, so we refused our key. Hold on one second. Alright, so now we're into our Ubuntu server, so I'm going to go ahead and start out by installing the uh, open JDK. So in order to do that, I'm going to do sudo apt get install open JDK dash seven dash JDK. And go ahead and proceed. Yeah. Gonna go ahead and pause this while this is doing all this. All right, that has been finished, and I'm gonna do a sudo apt. We well, don't even need a sudo, so we're just gonna do apt get. Since we're using the uh, administrator root user, which you should probably create another one, then you'll have to use sudo. So I'm doing an update. Now I'm doing an apt get install Python then software, then properties, and then I'm going to do a sudo apt get repository, and then ppa web up, and then d8 Team Java. I'm going to do a. That's an error. Hold on one second. It needs to be add apt get. So it's add apt repository. Add. Let's make sure that's right. There it is. Press enter. Okay, now I'm going to do an apt get update. And then we need to install Oracle Java 7. So apt get install Oracle Java 7 installer. And press yes. Alright, one more thing to do, and then we can actually install and see my admin. And I agree, so press enter. And I accept. You need to make sure this is a 64 bit VPS. And it is. Okay. 
Alright, and so Java has been successfully installed. Now we need to do an apt get install screen. Alright, okay, screen's already installed, so that should be fine. Now we need to do another thing. So um we're going to do CD and then user local. I'm going to do wget, and I will have this in the description, like so, press enter, and it's now on my server, so I'm going to do unzip etc.cip, um, we gotta install unzip first, so just by highlighting that and right click and press enter, so then we can go up and unzip. Alright, and then I'm going to do remove the etc.zip. Alright, so now we need to download the MCMI admin updater installer loader. So in order to do that, we're going to go to CD. We're going to MK dir, make dir, and then I'm going to do tilde and then MCMI admin. And then I'm going to go ahead and CD into that directory by doing this. And then I'm going to do wget http or I'll just copy this and I'll have this in the description too. Alright, and it's downloading that. I'm going to do a list and then I'm going to do unzip. I'm going to highlight this and right click it. Alright, and then I'm going to do remove that again. Okay, so we're ready to go. So now we need to go ahead and run the installer. So if you do list, we should see MCMA2 Linux x86-64. So in order to do that, we need to do like this. MCMA. Speed this up. Highlight this. And right click it. And then we need to do config only. And then we need to do a set pass of the administrator password. So I'm going to do admin pass. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and press enter. All right, so we need to go ahead and press Y. I'm pretty sure, let me read this. Yeah, we need to update. So just press Y and it goes. Alright, that has been gone, so now we can go ahead and clear this out. So now we can do a screen of, and then we can do with the command save, and we can name this mcmyadmin, like so. And then we should be able to do list, and we're in our directory, so I can now do this folder, or this here, so mcma2, x 64 right click, and it's loaded in a screen. So give me a couple seconds. And it does not like being an administrator user, but we can still use that. All right, so now we need to go ahead and head over to our web browser. So we need to go here, and we're going to have to add port 8080 at the end, I'm pretty sure. Yep, okay, so the administrator is admin, and the password is admin pass that I selected. And now we're going to log in and hold on one second here. I need to find out what my password is. I think it was um, admin pass. Let me check. Wait, admin administrator. I'm going to do this first, actually. If I can type today. Okay, so I was admin pass. This should work. No, what the heck? Administrator. I'm going to have to find out what that password was exactly. Okay, actually, I'll show everybody this. So you can do control AD to get out of that screen. Now I'm just going to go up here and see what I did. I put admin pass. So it's admin pass. And should be administrator. Okay, so.
so it's admin and admin pass. There we go. Finally. <laughs> so we have welcome to MC my admin two and you see a little bit of text here. So we can press OK. And um, you can have your game mode of whatever you want here. So let's go ahead and do survival, peaceful, hardcore, no, monsters, sure, no, no, yeah, um, yeah, no, yeah, sure, no, no, okay, status. So I'm going to go ahead and try starting the server. Let's fix that. Okay, start server. Doesn't matter. You can see that we're using the full 1024 megabytes of RAM. That can pose an issue actually with your server. Um, you just change that in your configuration file. So we're just going to wait for the server to start. Let's go and look at the console. As you can see, our server is starting. I don't even know if I have Minecraft on here. It's horrible. I'm gonna go ahead and pause this real quick. All right, finally that has all finished downloading. I'm going to allow access, or uh, yeah. Um, and I'm going to add a server of this IP address. And go ahead and press done. And as you can see, my Minecraft server is here with a ping of only 55 milliseconds. So I'm going to log into the server. And as you can see, we're on the server um, running um, running on our actual server there. So, um, as you can see, I don't have much lag at all. This is actually a pretty nice gaming environment right here, so I highly suggest uh, DigitalOcean for um, Minecraft hosting. It's uh, it's somewhat cheaper than actual SSD Minecraft hosting, so that there's a little bit nicer, um, but still, it, you're, it's not um, too... It's a lot of work, though, if you're going to just be using one server off of this and not doing too much with it. As you can see, I uh, uh, have successfully created the server. Uh, everything seems to be working in nominal condition. Um, I don't see any errors that ring a bell that are because of the hosting. I mean, as you can see, block placement is really fast. I mean, I have full bars of connection, so I mean, basically this is pretty nice. I don't no lag whatsoever yet. So, I mean, as you get a couple people on here with only one gig of RAM, you're going to get lag. So, I mean, you can't avoid lag at all. Um, you can also run this on a 512 megabyte RAM server, but you just have issues with that. Um, you won't have enough RAM if you get a lot of people on there. I mean, it might be good for just like two people. That'd be fine. Max of probably like five or eight. Uh, but I would not suggest having like 20 people. No, it's going to crash and lag and um, corruption can probably start happening. So anyways, this is basically all you need to do for a multi-craft server. Uh, I mean, no, not multi-craft, that's who I am, and multi-craft is going next. So um, thank you for watching this, and have a great day. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the description. Any future video tutorials, go ahead and send them to me in a um, message there on my, um, uh, on my uh, YouTube account. And just stay looking around on my new tutorials uh, and subscribe to our channel for future tutorials. Uh, thank you. Have a great day.